Hey guys, I'm Preston, um, CFI here at Thrustflight. Today we're gonna be talking about spin training because you're probably wondering what's the importance of spin training? Um, what does that look like? So today's video, uh, we're gonna kind of be going through that. The first install occurs when you exceed your critical angle of attack. So you're cruising like this and you pitch up. You've exceeded your critical angle of attack. The airflow over the wings starts to separate. So that's a normal stall. Now for a spin to occur, what would happen is you're uncoordinated. One wing, in this case the left wing, has a deeper stall than the other wing. So this deeper stalled wing is creating less lift, but this one over here, this right wing, is creating more lift, slightly more lift, and more drag. And that's causing this nose to pull over here to the left, and then there's your spin. When you're stalled, you'll notice that the controls are a little more mushy. That's because as you're stalled, that airflow is starting to separate from the wings there's less air going over those control surfaces so it's more mushy at this point you're going to start noticing that lift decreasing so that nose is going to start dropping towards the horizon and you're going to start pulling you in the direction of the more deeply stalled wing that initiating of the spin at this point though it's early and you can still recover from the spin using the method pair so pair is an acronym for our anti-spin inputs we put in p is going to stand for power idle a is going to stand for ailerons neutral. R is going to stand for opposite rudder. So if you're spinning to the left, you're going to hit that right rudder. And then E is going to be elevator forward. So briskly forward with the elevator. So yeah, we took off. Say we, he took off. I just got to experience it. Um, once we got up, uh, he let me fly it over, um, climb up a little bit, fly it over to our practice area. Um, asked if I wanted to do a couple of uh, aileron loops, um, aileron rolls. Um, and then showed me a stall at first. And then from there, I just, I did the next couple, next handful and um, yeah. So in the in the game bird, um, it kind of starts drawing that power back and you just slowly start pitching up, start pitching up and you'll feel that plane um, want to drop. And when it kind of starts to drop, um, you'll hit left rudder, full left rudder to make that plane dip. And it'll just go to the left and it'll just fully spiral down and you'll notice those first couple spins, they're slow. Almost gives you a chance, okay, let's recover. But in the training, we wanna see what it looks like fully developed. And so uh, when they develop, it is it gets fast. It is fast, you're spiraling towards the ground. Um, and from there, uh, you hit the opposite rudder of the way you're turning. So we're spinning to the left, slamming that right rudder, and we'll kind of level out, and you just slowly pitch that plane back up. And there you go, then you back and cruise. Starting training out, in private, the stalls are scary. And then by that time you do them so much, you kind of start to get uh, numb to it. So by the time I got to the game bird, I was kind of like, let's see what this spin is all about. We've been doing all this training to prevent these spins. I, I was just super excited. You know, Patrick, he's got thousands of hours of experience. Game bird's a beautiful plane. You know, I, it definitely alleviated any nervousness or, or fear that I was right. It was like a roller coaster. I was excited. Technically, just kind of memorizing the, the stall recovery techniques. Every plane's a little different. So maybe if you can get your hand on that plane's individual POH or reaching out to the person who's going to do uh, that spin training for you. But hey, what's it like? And just maybe chair fly a couple of times. Man, but the biggest thing I would give, biggest advice is honestly just enjoy it. It's fun. You're up there with an experienced instructor. Do it, learn it, know it, but have fun. Like there's very little times you're going to be able to go up there and do that again. Um, enjoy it. Spin flight training is required by the FAA for inspiring CFIs, but it's more than that. It's also just simply ensuring uh, the safety of pilots and uh, aviation. Here at Thrust Flight, uh, we take that very seriously. Um, it's a core component of our CFI training program. I and mean, it's important being able to actually see what a spin looks like, what the control inputs look like, the recoveries. Um, it's important to actually see that rather than just read about it. Regardless of where you're at and your flight training, uh, I hope this helped. Uh, learning stalls, spins, very important to ensuring uh, safe pilots and uh, safe, safety and aviation in general. If you like this video, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, we'll see you for the next one.